Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shout Jesus, somebody, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Fire on that altar. Fire on the altar. How many are putting fire on that altar? How men are putting fire on the altar? Wherever you are, begin to pray. Raise your hands and begin to pray. Parontele Christ da kaya kaya bahaya rekota la prontele Christ rikata ya suja Christ la moso parada ya kuprakta la kida bahaya zianto jekete le behei parontele Christ da kola dia kabara haya rita kaya bahaya jikato paro yeso prontele Christ kasuku bahaya zianto rita kro prakto la kriya darakiata jekete le behei zianto jarali kata ya nendora pro Rakata <laughs> Kujate rakata ya ziyato Sujaki ya parakanda Rakata kabakaya In Jesus might name we pray Turn to someone next to you and say are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Barata baleso brakiso man Love you too. Viewers all over the world, viewers all over the world, something good is happening. Something good is taking place. La rakabaya sevelumala. Something is happening. I want us to get back to the book of Psalm. The book of Psalms, chapter number five, in the message Bible, and you still be on your feet. If you are a member of this church, you know exactly what we do when we read the scripture. Viewers all over the world, this is it. Fire on the altar, part two. Fire on that altar. Wherever you are around the world, we are putting fire. On that altar. And the enemy will run from that fire. No matter what happens tonight. Fire will begin to burn. One, two, three. Let's read. Listen. God. Please. Pay attention. Can you make sense of these rumblings? My groans and cries. King God. I need your help. Every morning. You will hear me at it again. One, two, three, let's go. I lay out the pieces of my life on your altar and watch to see the fire fall. The book of Mark. The book of Mark, chapter number 1, verse number 34. I want it in the King James Version. Verse number 34. 
And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases. Are you reading this? And he healed many. Let me go to my people. Now. The Bible says, and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered them not to speak. Aye. Because they knew him. It's about to get to another level now. It's about to get to another level. Turn to somebody next to you and just say, are you ready? Just say, are you ready? Are you even ready? Are you even ready? Are you even ready? I feel something. I feel something. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not devils to speak for they already knew him. Mm. Watch this. And in the morning, rising up a great while, while it's still dark, not even before daytime, he rose early, way before the day. And went out in a solitary place. And there he prayed. Sit down. I have a sense of feeling now. I have a very strange feeling. That you lot that are here now. I'm putting the fire of prayer inside you. I want you to remember this that the Bible says Jesus the one who created the day <laughs> listen to this the one who understands the modalities of the day technologically spiritually crafted the day he understands the day he commanded the day to be and told it be let there be a day that same man woke up a great while before daybreak to pray because he had a certain understanding through his fraternizing with divinity that you cannot enter into a day when you have not put fire into it. I wish I could talk to somebody. It is literally folly, foolishness. A mind of a dunderhead. Is what some of you have. That you dare approach a day. Before you pray. The one who created the day. Went to pray a great while. And said there is no way I can end a Monday. When I've not put fire on Monday. No, no, no. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. I can go this side now because. It is. It is spiritually. A criminal offense to walk into a Monday, a Tuesday, a Sunday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, a Saturday that you did not invest fire into. I'm talking to somebody now. Do you understand? They left the general called Babalola. They left him praying. He said, let's go pray for a short prayer. After two hours, he was still on his knees. Do you see what you see on that screen? Those were his knees in the rock. No, you're still not getting what I'm talking to you now. <laughs> I'm leaving this. Let me try here. What kind of a man can you be? That you pray until the rock begins to. <laughs> you are playing around. The man is long dead. Go to his home area now. Babalola now. His relatives. His, his siblings. And his relatives. Do you understand? Every two hours. Three hours. They ring a bell. 
and everyone stops barata kabaya meteke beata rakuma kabeata te meshopa hate kuma hate kuma yakala one hour three hours rest dente metaka bakalaka ah fire on the altar fire on the altar fire I'm making somebody here to have a prayer revival. I'm not talking about international prayer revival. I'm talking about a personal prayer revival. Ratakabaya. Nesepe kumakata. Latumaniko watapuri ataleko. Jepa. 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 Ikano maunda kaliyoza. When God opens your bank account of fire, are you in the minus? What is he going to find? If God enters your prayer bank in the, and says, yeah, let's open your prayer bank, what is he finding? <laughs> maybe, maybe I've spoken of Nigeria too long. Let me come back here and remind you of a man called Gwanzura, Apostolic Faith Mission. How he went to the rural areas and began to decree and declare and pray and preach and healings happened. Miracles took place. And people said, we want to be born again. And they were born again. He said, we want to be baptized. He said, where is water? They said, there is a river. He looked at the river. They said, you can't go there. There are crocodiles. He stood by the bank of the river and began to call crocodiles from his mother, his grandfather. Young brothers and young sisters. He said, come out. I want to baptize. They waited for a few minutes. And one crocodile, one on the banks of the river. Another one. All of them lined up as if by a commandment from a master crocodile. Is he an oncologist, a zoologist? No, a man of fire. Not only that, after he did it, he said, don't worry. Let's go now. He remembered. He said, ah, the crocodiles are still obeying. He said, crocodiles, back in the river. All of them turned around to go back in the river. In this country. My brother, you are not coming from where you come from. You have a certain power. I said, you are not coming from where you come from. There is a certain ability you have. That no man, I don't care whether you were born in a spoon, a garage, fire on that altar. Fire on the altar. Remember what I told you. Prayer is a conjurement of fire. When fire is obtained by prayer, it conjures. Now you are taking it from your bank account. Fixing that problem that is coming to you. It might be a marriage. It might be a bank balance. It might actually be your enemy. Now I invest fire. <laughs> are you flowing or you have gone home are you flowing or you have gone home are you flowing they called me and I went to a place called Port Harcourt, Nigeria with Prophet Bushiri and Jeremiah Omot as we were in there we, we got in there they said you come to our place because the prophet he calls me Oga Oga uh, and, and, and he said, you are a spiritual ogre, come here. There is my son who is a fuel thing. This is a rig, an oil rig. Pray for him. We went there, we flew by helicopter. We got there, we prayed for the man. Prayed for his machinery, everything. 
People who are seeing us, they just said, these people praying for machinery. Oh, you reek. We finished, we got into, a, into our hotel. We, we went back by helicopter, got into our hotels. No problem. The man says, as you arrive here, I've just received news that the other part of the oil rig that was not working, it just started working on its own. That's not the issue. I went back to Britain. Middle of the night, I get a call. I've got, my man here is on the line. There is fire, oil, I believe he was uh, saying it is, um, he, he believed it's some, some, some of these guys that are criminals and, and, and they had come in to try and steal something and then they set the rigs on fire. Since there is oil, oil will be on top of the water. You understand? So oil caught fire. So the fire was now traveling by river towards his rig. He says, I'm going to lose everything. We said, put it on, on video call. Video call. You could see fire going like this. I decreed. I said, it will not happen. Listen, I said, I reverse what's taking place. Notice, I did not expect anything to happen any more than I expected to be the first person to land on the moon. Listen, the river started flowing different direction. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. Fire burns, fire cooks, fire is hot, fire is dangerous, fire flies, fire can jump, fire cooks. Anything giving you problems, the answer is? Fire! fire! <laughs> I know you're not getting it. Psalm, Psalms 5 again. Verse number one, I want that verse to actually get into you so you can understand. Malatika rakuma, lesh kogoria paratiske endakira. It's happening. I said, it's happening. It's happening. Hmm. Baba Lola once went with a team of leaders and people, people who just wanted to pray. To a mountain. They went at 9 p.m. on Sunday. After service. The men knelt down there. Began to pray. When he said. In the name of Jesus. This was Wednesday. <laughs> and the people. And he, he looked at the people that came with him. He said I'm very sorry. I thought it was going to be a short prayer. Now we've gone maybe an hour. They said No. It's Wednesday now. We have been here for days. You, you do two minutes. Two minutes, you'll be checking your alarm system. <laughs> have you ever done it? Have you ever done it where you are looking at your watch like this? You say, five minutes prayer. You say, ba da 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 You say, ha! Ah, I think my alarm is a problem. You go and watch it, it's one minute. I rebuke that one in the name of Jesus. There should be some power inside of you that can sustain long hours. Let me tell you something. The closer you get to the altar, the closer you get to the altar, the less your antennas catch the world. You're not hearing me. I said you're not hearing me. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, if you, if you become attentive to the voice of the world, you become deaf to the voice of God. Do you think these people are just walking? What causes Idahosa to say, if you touch me, you are finished? Not finished. Finished. The reason why it's easy to just talk anyhow about men of God is because there is a lack of fire. I said because there is a lack of fire. When people really meet the real fire of talking against men and women of God, they will never repeat. I speak to somebody here. By the fire of the spirit, 
you shall move to higher dimensions. I said you will move to higher dimensions. I see you on top of everything. Fire on that altar. Fire. Sit down. I want to show you. When you get God. I can't tell you of how great generals were like. You, you, you will not have time for it. I said you will not have time for it. Brother Branham said, God told me if you see fire, when you lay hands on people, if you see fire moving from your other hand to your other hand, there is a demon in the person. My question is, how did he see the fire? <laughs> to be told it's a miracle to hear God talking that you shall see fire. Then to see the fire. <laughs> Someone here. Now I can go here because... I just saw someone here. There is going to be a move of the spirit in your house. That when you get there, you'll be like, what is happening here? You will hear sounds. You hear fire. What is happening? Fire on the altar. I want to show the book of Psalm 114. 114. In fact, let's, let's read this. Listen, God. Who tells God to listen? Listen, God. Please pay attention. <laughs> Notice here. Can you make sense of these ramblings? Can you make sense of these ramblings? It's happening everywhere. It's already taking place. Can you make sense of these ramblings? Jeez. Can you make sense? That means the person is going in. It's a drive of tongues. Inarticulate language. You, 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 you go like Rakuma, Katabunka, Reta, Balaska. And God said, can you hear me? Can you make sense of these ramblings? My groans, my cries, King God. I need your help. No, no, he says I need your help. He didn't say, God, help me now. I need your help. No, he said, I need your help. <laughs> Do you know a man called Samson? The Bible says, and Samson would wake up every time when the enemy arrives. Shake his rasta. Is in your Bible? Aya. <laughs> the men who just arrived, the enemies here. Aye! What do you shake, brother? What do you shake? What do you shake? What do you shake? What are you going to shake? Sit down, sit down. I'm going to tell you something. In a few minutes. In a few minutes. Can you make sense of these rumblings? My groans. King God. I need your help. Every morning. You will hear me eat it again. Amen. Did he hear you today? Did he hear you this morning? Do you understand why God comes whenever? Let me tell you something. I want to tell you this secret. God is a weakness. And you should learn to manipulate God's weakness. I said God has a weakness. Learn to manipulate all God's weaknesses. Remember what he said? He said you are the apple of God's eye. It means you are the eyeball. Right now if I come to you and try to... No, I'm not even going to poke it. I'll just keep moving my finger towards you. You will blink. So that's what God is saying. He says, he says, you are the apple of my eye. Meaning to say, anyone who tries to touch you, I blink. I block, 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 block. Everyone who tries to touch you, I am blocking. Are you getting this? Now hear this now. Every time I block. But God's main weakness that you should always, always manipulate is God. God is infatuated and obsessed by an offering. Now, right now, you heard me as saying, give me money. In the book of Psalm there, it says, every morning, I'm at it again. Doing what? Watch this now. Watch this now. I lay out the pieces of my life on your altar. In other words, 
In other words, the job, I lay it on the altar. Uh, the wife on the altar. Now you just looked at me when I said the wife. Let me just explain to you something. Do you realize that the Bible actually tells us that when, when, when Potiphar gave Joseph the part to operate in his household, to be able to be the household leader or captain, he said, everything in my life, I give it into your hands, Joseph, except my wife. And the very thing he did not put under Joseph is the very thing the devil came through. My bank account is on the altar. My children on the altar. My wife on the altar. Everything on the altar. When God sees that kind of offering, he comes down. That's his obsession. He has a weakness. God has a weakness for offerings. I'm not talking money. I lay out the pieces of my life on your altar. I cut the hand if it is the one that causes me to steal. I put it on the altar every morning. And wash because God always comes to consume an offering. Let me go there where you don't want me to go. The man of valor, that man of valor, when the angel arrived, he said, who are you? He said, I'm the angel of the Lord. He said, for me to prove that you are the angel of the Lord, wait here, I'm taking an offering. He brought the offering. He knew, he couldn't test by scripture. Offering. He put the offering there and the angel took the stuff, poked the offering, and the offering disappeared, including the soup. The Bible says, even the soup disappeared. So, so, so that tells me that if I want to prove a man of God is a man of God, I can bring an offering. If he takes it, he's of God. <laughs> no, I'm not talking now. The idea now is, how do I become that offering? What is it that you are preventing God from touching? The reason why some monies are not coming to you. Is because if he can't get it through you, he can't get it to you. Amen. Now, I, I know you missed that. Let me talk to my people in the back there. If he can't get it through you, he can't get it to you. What causes you to let the power to push forward? Man, is no hungry, can no. I want to show you something. I want to show you something which is the law of the offering. Leviticus 6. From verse number five, I want you to see something, and I'm about, I'm about to finish. I lay this life on the altar. Right now, as we are talking now, some of you are, on, are reading the Bible. Some of you, you're on WhatsApp. I have news for you. If it is a boyfriend you are with on that WhatsApp, Hear the prophetic word of God. He will damn you. Before this week, you will be single. Please. Pastor T, I need testimonies from next week of people who were. Hear this now. All right, all that about which he had sworn falsely, he shall even restore it in the principle. Are you getting this? And shall add the fifth part thereof, and give it unto him to whom it appertaineth in the day of the trespass offering. We're talking about offerings now. Let's go. And he shall bring his trespass offering. Unto the Lord, a ram without blemish. Let's go to verse number 9 so you see. This is an offering. I just wanted to show you. Command Aaron and his son saying, this is the law of the burnt offering. Remember, it's your life you are putting on the altar so God can come and consume. <laughs> I can see we are not together on your life being burnt. Because the burnt, now hear this, the burnt offering, because the burnt Burning upon the altar. It's called the burnt offering. Why? Because the burning upon the altar is all night. 
Okay? I could see you're not hearing what I'm trying to say. Let me try it again. I always go to my people. Which ones again? Viewers all over the world. Are you getting this? Says it's an altar for what? For every day. And all night. How many of you have done an all night in prayer? You have not become an offering. I don't care who you are. You have not become an offering if you have not done an all night. Jesus was praying. His disciples came and said, Master, Master. Uh, Jesus went to his disciples and tried to figure out if they were praying with him. They were not praying. He said, you could not wait even for an hour. Meaning to say by the reason of Jesus in the Old Testament, he said at least when you think of praying, minimum is one hour. Not this microwave prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. I'm going on. Thank you. It's a microwave mentality. After two minutes, it's cold again. You need to put in the fire again. Jesus said you could not, you stupid people, you could not wait even for an hour. These people were not New Testament believers. <laughs> You're not getting me. I wish you could understand this. Let me, let me try to show you who you are exactly. Are you hearing me? The book of Psalm. Psalm. Psalm 114. The message Bible. Are you getting this? Hmm. Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Say to someone, it is good to see you here. It is good to see you here. Ah, I wish I could talk to you. Hear me. After Israel left Jacob, left Egypt. The clan of Jacob left those barbarians behind. Judah became a holy land for him. <laughs> Israel, the place of holy rule. Remember, the sea took one look at Israel after prayer. And the sea looked another way. Okay, okay, they didn't get it. No, 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 no. Where, where can I go? I need to be in London, London branch. I think Bulawayo branch will hear me well. The New York branch can understand this. They prayed. You think it's Moses who parted the Red Sea. No. According to God, the prayer that Moses did and the children of Israel did, when they were walking like this, the Bible says they came out of Egypt with their own atmosphere, a pillar of fire. When the sea looked at the pillar of fire, the Bible says it looked away. You think it was parting of the sea? That was the sea looking away. Your poverty will look away after this one. Your cancer will look away after this one. Diabetes will look away after this one. Hey! Shout yes! Every disease will begin to look away. Now hear this. Sit down. Did he say he took two, the two looks? What? <laughs> you see, when you are a man of prayer, you realize even stones understand. Jesus said this. said, if you don't say hallelujah, these stones themselves will rise and speak. One, two, three, let's go. Mm-hmm. Listen to me and let me explain it to you. Very simple and maybe in every layman terms I can actually master. Christianity, if it is at its weakest, it should look like witchcraft. Not 
not this kind of Christianity where we come to church to, to shut down witchcraft gets. What kind of people are we? You, ask my, yeah. Let's read. Let's. Uh huh. No, 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 no. I, I don't know whether you are, you are here or not. You, you see, you went past it like you are just joking. River Jordan turned around and ran. No, it's not rain. Eh? Ran off. River Jordan. <laughs> the witch in your own household is still your neighbor. Aye. Yet rivers were running away from men of God of Old Testament. Malekosa praktena kastanda. I refuse. <laughs> the mountains turned playful. The mountains looked at Israel. Mountains. Someone here. I have a very strange feeling. As you arrive at the bank. Your bank balance will run playful. Papa is here. Mama has arrived. Daddy is here. It will be playful. I'm speaking to somebody under the influence of my voice now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone under the influence of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Are you getting this? Are you even following? Hear me. Let's go. Let's go. The mountains. The mountains. The mountains turned playful and skipped like rams. The heroes frolicked like spring lambs. What's wrong with you see that you ran away? Hear me. Hear me. In you river Jordan. That you tend and ran off. And the mountains, why did you skip like rams? And you hills, frolic like spring lambs. Tremble, earth. You are in the Lord's presence. In the presence of Jacob's God. I, I, I said I. Not your kind of God that you have to invite to church. I see many ministers come to the service and grab the mic and say, we welcome the Holy Ghost. To where? To his house. What kind of human being are you that you invite the Holy Ghost to his own house? Which house have you ever entered and say you are welcome to the owner of the house? The idea of the presence of God you have is nonsense. The presence of God is the presence of fire. What did you see that you ran away? You mountains. Leviticus 6, 9 again. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I'm a... I see something. It's happening, but uh, I feel like it should happen more and more. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you flowing? Yeah. Turn to someone next to you and say fire. Fire on that mountain. Fire on that mountain. Fire on that mountain. Fire on that mountain. Maria Tumakaye. Jepara Takakuske. Beretika nomble eskabaye. You see. The creator of the day understood the day and knew that the day can only be obtained or controlled by people who understand how to invest the fire in the day. In other words, his understanding was simple that there are things you need to bend before you walk into a day. 
Now imagine all your life, you people sitting here. You've been walking into a day that has been burning some aspect of your life without you knowing it. <laughs> Fire is very, very important. What have you been doing all this time? What is the fire investment you have? Do you even know that? You see us saying, camera, show us. This person doesn't speak. Film now. And let it be around the world as I pray for the person. Who would you think the confidence is coming from? Fire. 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 We have somewhere where we are with the drawing fire. That when you try it, it won't work. You have a problem. You want to withdraw where you did not deposit. <laughs> that's, why, that's why the demon said, Jesus we know. The apostle we know. But who are you? It looked at the fire. It was not even a flicker. That's why Jesus said, who are you Pharisees? Let me show you when Jesus was angry. Let me show you when Jesus was angry. They came to him and said, Master, you have a problem. There is Herod who is coming. He went to pray. Jesus went to pray. Look at what he did after prayer. Luke 6. I will go back to that one. In fact, look 13 verse number 31. Look 13 verse number 31. Herod was coming. The same day there came a certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out of depart thence. For Herod will kill thee. <laughs> he had already come from prayer with fire. Look at what Jesus said. And he said unto them, go ye, tell that fox, the president of a country. Say, go tell the fox. Jesus, you're, you're playing. He said, go tell that fox. Say, say, go tell that fox now. Very dangerous. <laughs> Herod is coming. He can mess you up. He said, go tell that fox now. Hear what he says. Behold, I cast out devils. Now he's giving himself days now. Behold, I cast out devils. He's now telling the president the timeline. His, 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 his itinerary. He is telling them now, this is my itinerary now. I'm telling you, I'm not going. They, Herod they said, leave this country now. Go tell him to go. I don't want to see this preacher here. So God tell that folks, behold, I cast out devils. Hmm? Ah, and I do cure today. Ah, he knew he was healing people. And then tomorrow, and the day, the third day, then I shall be perfected, I will go. When I want, I go. Ah! Ah! This is one, not one president who was elected. No, this was a dictator. No election was just being born and becomes Herod. He says, go tell him. You keep following his story later. One day Herod was just standing like this giving a speech and worms from within him started to eat him up. Dying like a fool. Because he lacked fire. With fire. Hmm. You are not hearing me. I said with fire it's impossible. With fire it's impossible for you to be divorced. With fire it's impossible for you to be single if you want to get married. With fire I, I have a strange feeling again here. I'm just having a strange feeling here. That I might be talking to some multi-millionaires here. Fire! Fire! I want to show you something. It's just that Every time I try to take this opportunity to show you something. Let's go to the scripture that I gave you earlier on. Hmm. Now, I want to show you something. In fact, let's, let's look at this. Command Aaron. Are you here? Command Aaron. Command Aaron and his son saying, this is the law of the burnt offering. 
It is the bank offering because he's saying it is called the bank of bank bank offering because it's an all night thing. Now the Bible says you lay down the pieces of your life for how many hours? All night. But every morning, be there to try to inspect the. But you see, you get to a point where you burn, but then you can take your life and put it on the altar. The Moravian brothers, how they knew they needed to preach to slaves. And they saw a slave trade parade and they said, we are going to join ourselves to the slaves. These were not black people, white people. They also removed their own shirts and joined the slaves so that they could be sold as slaves. How do you tell your wife, I'm now going? How do you tell your wife, I'm now leaving? I will be a, a slave so I can preach to slaves. They stood there until they were arrested. Their wives crying and the children crying, knowing we'll never see them again. They knew they wanted to be slaves so that they could be sold out and preach. Amen. You, you are angry that someone wrote on Instagram against you. That's not persecution. just people spending their bundles. Ah. You lose sleep over an internet post. One son of mine came. He was a member of the church way back. And then he started his own thing. He said, Man, I was with my wife. They showed me naked. And it's going around the world now. I said, don't worry. Look at it in a positive way. You see, at least they see you're a man now. <laughs> you, you, lose, you lose sight of what you are called for. Because somebody produced a naked video of you. You don't want to preach anymore. Say, I, who were you with? My wife. Ah, no problem. <laughs> Even if it was someone else. Don't worry. The gospel has nothing to do with what you did. What you did is wrong, but the gospel is still waiting to be preached. The Bible says whether the gospel is preached out of envy, out of jealousy, the gospel is being preached anyway. I want to show you something that I don't want to show you, but I will try and show you in the Bible. Which town were you born from? When were you born in? Harare. You were born in Harare. And you? Harare. And you, sir? Harare. Harare. And you? Chitunguiza. Chitunguiza. Mm -hmm. Chivu. Uh -huh. Harare. Harare. And you're all born again? Yeah. And you? Mashingo. Yeah, you, you born close to heaven. <laughs> but. <laughs> very close to heaven, but. <laughs> Psalms 87. I want to show you something. La hasuka ma ikuna heto taitu. Synchro of Crandel Egriska. His foundation in the holy mountains. Please watch this. I want you to look at it. So you know your birth certificate doesn't say where you were born from. No, no, you're not getting me. Your birth certificate is not saying that. I know you were born in Chitungwiza, Harare, London, New York. Here it is. His foundation is in the holy mountains. Where do I go? Mm, there. Huh. Maybe at the back there. The fo his foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion. Fambazio. Now. More than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee. O city of God, Selah. The word Selah is not a word. It's a sound. It is a sound that says think about it. Take a pause. Think. Someone said, Bafunge. Now hear this now. I want you to notice this. I'm a, I know you're about to miss it. Ah. I will make mention of Rahab. I will talk about Rahab. 
and Babylon to them that know me. And to Philistia and to Tyre. With Ethiopia, this man was born there. Eh. What he's saying is, this one and this one and this one and this one. Go back to what I'm talking about. This one and this one and this one were born there. So they were born in areas we can all see on earth. Now, and I will make mention of Rahab. Let's go to five. Hear this. And of Zion, it shall be said, this and that man. Notice, he didn't say this man and that man. He says this and that man. He's talking about one person. Okay. This and the man was born in here. It says, even when your birth certificate says Harare, says London, when God sees it, he says Zion. No, no. You missed that. You missed that. Verse number six. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people, when he does the registry of the people that were born on earth. He will say that this man was born there. They're missing it. Let's go. They're missing it. Now, I will go to, go to the Message Bible, MSG. So we read it there. I'm about to finish. He founded Zion on the holy mountain and oh, how God loves his home. Loves it far better than all the homes of Jacob put together. God's hometown. <laughs> I love the Message Bible. This is God's hometown. So, so, so. God is my homie. Hey. The Bible says, we are coming to Mount Zion. We are coming to Mount Zion. Hey. Hey. Loves it far better than any homes of Jacob. Everyone there is talking about you. No, they didn't get it. Yeah. Ah. Everyone is what? Mm -hmm. I name them off. Those among whom I'm famous. Egypt, Babylon, also face the entire, along with Cush. Words getting around. Word is getting around. They point them out. Word is getting. This one was born again here. Mm -hmm. The word is getting out on Zion. Men and women, right, left, get born again in here. The other ones were born on earth, but these ones were born in Zion. So where were you born? Zion. How do you survive? Fire! You are a different creature. Do you know your grandfather in the Lord? A man called Abraham. The Bible says he looked for a city whose architect and maker is God. If you look in the book of Hebrews, he tells you he was looking for a city. It even tells you that he lived in tents as a nomad. He said, don't build a house. It's not necessary. Don't build any house. He told his children, Isaac, please, don't build a house. It's not necessary. We, we, we have a city that was built by God. We are going there. How can you be like that? How can you think in that way? He built tents and tents. Never built a house because it was too much. He said, no, no, no. It will cost us money. We are rich, but it will cost us money. Don't, don't leave it. We are going to, to a city that was built by God. How do you wake up in the morning out of your tent? You look around. You say, mm, let's go. We need to find it. Where are you going? Zion. Where is Zion? It's a spiritual city. That was built by God. And that's where I will live. I'm not living in a mansion here. You know, you are waiting to die or rapture to come and take you to Zion. No, 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 no. Abraham said, it will be found here. And I'll be walking in it. Do you understand the Bible way it says all these things that it says that the lion and the lamb shall grace together? It's not in heaven. Our brothers at the watchtower have missed it a little bit. They put it in their books. No, it's here. Brother Branham was walking like this. 
Let me go to my people. Uh, see, even these guys understand they are not my people. When I was Brother Branham heard that there was a bull. He was going to another location. And there was a bull that was attacking people in that location. He says, I'm going there. So he did not know that it was happening. So when he was approaching this location, he went past a fence. And a bull started charging. And people were just going, like, my God. They, they didn't even have the voice to scream. They were just terrified. Oh my God, what will happen? What will happen? He looked at it as it arrived. As it was about to ram into him, he said, I love you. Hey. And the bull went, hey. turned around. Hey. Now, do you notice I said love? And people say, what is the connection of love? Love is not a feeling, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Love is a weapon. Do you know when God says love your, en your, your enemy, he's not trying to make you love them. No, the Bible says, love your enemies, for it calls what calls of fire over them. Next time when your enemy fights you, love them. It's the best revenge. There is a certain level of fire. No, I would not love my enemies. Why would I love someone like this? Oh, God did not say love because you're weak. No. That's what the Bible says, God is love. He's a consuming fire consumes everything, takes up everything. Pastor Chris, my spiritual father, Pastor Chris Oyahilome. Now, he's in a hotel. I've told you this story for those who are new. You can hear it now. Viewers all over the world. He's in a hotel. And they said, fire. And the fire, you know, these trucks are there. Bring out their horses so that they can extinguish the fire. Everyone is out. They were now looking for one person who had not come out of the hotel. And smoke and fire is everywhere. It's middle of the night. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., nothing. Everyone is sleeping in their bed and they were told to come out. He, probably everyone is in their pajamas and he's also in his pajamas. I don't know. And fire is everywhere. And the pastors are out who had come there with pastor. And they're like, my God. The men of God. Now you, to enter you can't. Fire is everywhere. They waited. They were like, ah, ah, ah. Some are crying. Some are panicking. Minutes later, way into the minutes, he comes out with a tie, well suited, even pocket square. Nicely. He walks through the fire. They said, Pastor, Pastor, we were afraid you. He said, no. I can't burn. Can you say it? No. We can't burn. I said, we can't burn. We can't burn. We are fire. We can't. Impossible and can't. Impossible can't. We can't burn. No, I said, I said, I said, I said what, what kind of, what kind of man? He has, there is fire. Sees fire and the smell of fire and, and the smoke is coming into the room. And things let me go in, but it's, it's 2 a.m. I can't come out there. Is this? He said, I'm a representation of Jesus. How would I come running like this? If it was you. Yeah. I, <laughs> the fire will catch the hotel when you are out. He said, me coming out wearing pajamas? A representative of Jesus? No. Somewhere out there with their pajamas with Mickey and Mouse. <laughs> Bishop, Archbishop is out there going like, hey, God saved me. If I thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Shut up to here with Mickey Mouse raising their hands as if in prayer. <laughs> and the man of fire is standing there calmly. How can you become in the middle of fire unless you are fire? I said, unless you are fire. Unless you are fire. When they put you in the fire, you will not burn. <laughs> hey. You know how many people we prayed for now? In the fire, just a few weeks ago, after we started the fire, talking about the fire in the pastor's meeting here. And guess what happened? 
snakes were coming out, just founded the houses. One found a snake in the child's house, children's room. A snake was in there, hiding there. After fire, it showed itself. He said, I'm here. Now, this is no story, is eh? <laughs> Fire burns. Fire cooks. Fire is what? Fire jumps. Fire flies. Fire can run. Fire, anything that troubles you, the answer is fire. Do you like money? Fire. Do you like joy? Fire. Do you like success? Fire. Is somebody troubling you? Fire. Is the boss giving you a hard time? Fire. What is it? Sit down. Sit down. Do you know how, how I was named Uber? It was very, very simple. My father was very much involved in the liberation struggle. And are you getting this? Are you getting this? <laughs> he was a player in this, in this ruling party you see here. Do you understand this? And because of the liberation struggle, he would line up, of course, with the ruling party. And one day they came to the house, these soldiers, shooting up everything. People are running, some are dead. And my mother went this direction with some few women and hid in the bush. And the soldiers were firing our di direction and she's pregnant with me. Are you getting this? And then the Zimbabwean army, which was of course fighting the British army, came in. And they were now fighting now. They were now fighting now. This, uh, it, it, it wasn't even a fight. Now these Zimbabwean armies are now on our side. These five guys are now on our side. Defending my mother. And she's pregnant. And they remained two. Three were dead. Two remained fighting, defending my mother. Until those two guys killed every one of the British armies. Killed them. Now hear this. Hear this. When they finished, my mother said, what can I do for you that you have preserved my child? And he said, name you, you bet. That's how I came up. For those who don't understand what Hubert means, it means intelligent, wise, wisdom. And if you don't know what angel is, it means messenger. So it simply means intelligent messenger. We are not down. Somebody here, your battle is already being won. I said your battle. Fire on that altar. Fire on the altar. Now hear this. Before you say you are tired, investigate your enemy. Let me check my time here. I'm left with six minutes. Sit down. Before you confess you are tired in prayer, because I know you people. <sighs> ah, I've done it. We have broken through now. Meanwhile, we have not even started. Before you say you are tired, before you get into any prayer, investigate your problem. Sit down, make a map of your problem. Mm. In this marriage, I might lose my marriage. There are opportunities that this woman has, opportunities that this man has, that he can leave me in a flash. The devil is fighting me. 
You can shout at each other all you want. Trust me. It will not do nothing. Because while this you are adding fire, the devil also people are adding fire. Let me warn you and warn you now. These people who worship the devil are not, are not joking. They carry their children. Cut them in pieces. Have you not seen people being caught yet? Do you, have you not seen people caught? With children. And you, with your one dollar. <laughs> you with your one dollar offering. The satanist with the child. You think you're going to win that battle. You are crazy. And when you give your offering, the way you walk, with the one dollar. You stand there like, you know, it's, the prophet needs to see me. I came to drop my money. You drop it like it's what? One dollar. And you wait, you look at me like, have you seen me? When you see I'm looking your direction. One dollar. <laughs> Meanwhile, your enemy has sacrificed two children. I'm not talking about money now. You're, you're missing the point. <laughs> Your enemy is sacrificing two children. You hear, uh, my, my wife lost a pregnancy. Lost a pregnancy. Some of them know they have not lost a pregnancy. They sacrifice the pregnancy to, to punish you. Some of you are here, yet your grandfather who is dead now gave you as a sacrificial seed to his God before you were born. He mentioned as for the children of this one. On their altar, you were given. You were born, but you were already given. As a seed. When you come here, you try to make your sense of your peace, the pieces of your life. They are already being claimed. The devil says, that's mine. That one is mine. That one is mine. That one is mine. Where will you go? How do you fight the altar of a man? Who has been sacrificing to his God for 15 years. You just came into Christ now, just two days ago. Two years back, that's when you came in. The Bible says, while it's our outward man is perishing, our inside man is gaining. But now, since I'm not old, what do I do? I need to get into that altar, pushing hours, not just hours of nonsensical talk, no. Hours of putting my life on the altar. God, if there is anything that is preventing you from working with me, hear me well. A young man was asked to tell of a story that he knew in the Bible. He stood up and said, I know the story of Jonah. How Jonah was swallowed by the, uh, how, how the fish was swallowed by Jonah. No, let me see. Let me come here. The whole class started laughing. No, 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 no. It's the fish that swallowed Jonah. He says, I don't care. As long as there was some swallowing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter. If God doesn't touch you, touch him. Yeah. If he doesn't call you, call him. Yeah. If he doesn't choose you, choose him. If he doesn't speak to you, speak to him. As long as there is some speaking, some touching. I don't know, man of God. God does not, he has not chosen me. Choose him. He doesn't talk to me. Talk to him. He has not touched me. Touch him. It doesn't matter who swallows where. <laughs> I don't care. Tell them I do not care. Yes. Whether it's the needle, the eye of the needle that will expand or the camel has to shrink and pass through the eye of a needle. Most of you are standing here today. You have no ability to search and investigate your enemy. What arsenal 
has your enemy got? Listen to me. America will not fight with another country without noticing what they have. What do you think right now everyone is afraid of North Korea? They don't know what that guy has. They say something, he just wakes up testing some bombs. <laughs> People like that are very, very difficult. But it's a small country. Ask my son here. Even the wife, ask, ask your husband. Short man syndrome. You can't fight nothing. These people who fight short like this, don't play with short people. Short people will be like, no, 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 no. You are thinking I'm short, I'll kill you. Short people. They will take you from where you are down to their level. They will cut you down to size. They have no idea. Listen to me. They have no idea right now. North Korea, you can't just talk. Eh? They say, this is North Korea, this is North Korea. He just comes out in the morning and he doesn't speak English very well. Yet he learned in Britain. He went to university there. Ha -ha. He will pretend like he doesn't know English one bit. Went to France. He will pretend he has never been there. He will come speaking his own language. And you don't know what he's saying. You don't know if the interpreter is saying the truth. <laughs> America will play with any country, not a small country. They don't know what weapons he can produce. You, you say, don't make this weapon. He says, I have it. Then when you say we are attacking because he has it, he said, no, I don't have it. But we are not showing you what we have. Then one day you just wake up and say, America, just try it. Ah! <laughs> now you have no idea what's happening. Now your problem is you are not investigating your enemy. Listen to me. You don't know why your sister is not married. You are not married. Your uncle is not married. Your own mother is divorced. You don't know. You have no idea why. You have no idea why your mother is number 550 woman in that marriage. You have no idea. In your head, it's just mistakes. My English might not be English. But you are definitely vexed. There are some spiritual forces at play. Imagine you have never seen $1,000 in your bank account in one go. You have never. To just say one thousand dollars, you have not seen it. If we go to five, ah, that one is dangerous. <laughs> there was a time my wife, if I said to my wife, "How much do you have?" She said five. I meant it was five cents. If it says five, I knew it was five dollars. Then it changed to five thousand. Then it changed to five hundred thousand. Then it changed to five million. People come to us and, 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 and say, oh my God, things are very expensive. We will discuss with them, hey, expensive. We knew the price of fuel. Now there are some people who don't even know if fuel has gone up. <laughs> my father said, some people came to me and said, things, prices have gone higher. Said, even me, I answered them, we have also gone higher. Say we went up, we went up. If prices go higher, we go higher than the prices. Am I talking to somebody? They say something has gone higher now. Prices of you have gone higher. Tell them, I also go higher. I went higher. I'm higher than the prices. <laughs> How are you doing under the circumstances? Tell them, under the circumstances? I'm not under the circumstances. I'm above the circumstances. One person came to me and said, what is your church going to do? There is a recession. I said, we are not participating, me and my church. We are not participating. It's drought this year. We are not participating in the drought. We are not part of it. We, are not, we, we come from Zion. I said, we come from Zion. We are not participating. There is a fire economy. An economy of fire. Amen. No. My son prophet Leon Dupree. We went there into the forest with their husband. 
went there into, into the forest and Prophet Leon and his team and his husband were, was there as well. And in, the, in South Africa, yeah, in South Africa, we are in the bush hunting. Not that we want to kill animals, but we're just trying to, to follow the scriptures. Subdue, have dominion. So we are in that, in that location there. And sorry, British people, I know British people will get confused and get angry. See, the British people get angry at things that don't matter. One of my sons got into the newspapers for taking a picture beside an animal I killed. They are feeling stations. They catch feelings. So, so they started, I said, I just went into the comments and said, do you eat meat? They said, yes. The people were commenting angry at him. He said, we eat meat. So you think this meat just jumped out of the forest, killed itself, sliced itself into a packet, and got into a supermarket. There are people who kill them. No, you should eat vegetables. What if vegetables think? Do you know that there is actually a professor in Germany, German professor, who has actually seen that trees communicate? They even refuse each other nutrients. No, no. The main tree gives to its young ones nutrients. Takes from a different tree. Yes, communication. Yeah. Now imagine these trees. Let's say they think. This is just me thinking. We think trees are giving us oxygen. What if they are communicating that let's give these bastards oxygen. When they die, they become our manure. What if this is a plan that they have had for a long time? <laughs> I'm just trying to show you. <laughs> This is not biblical, what I'm telling you now. Because you will go there and say, you even open the verse, no. But what if this tree outside you see there is a plan? That we just give them oxygen a little bit. It's not too long, just investment of 50 years, then they, this bastard will die. And then oxygen is given, and then manure. What if we are not... What if there is a conspiracy? That these trees are actually surviving in the... Um, Trees share water and nutrients through the networks and also use them to communicate. They send distress signals about drought and disease. For example, or insect attacks and other trees alter their behavior when they receive these messages. It's called mycorrhizal networks. Uh -huh. Shapinda. Now it got so it. these guys who call themselves vegans. The Bible says to one who is weak, he eats vegetables. Uh -uh. Please put the verse up there. One who is weak eats vegetables. For one believes that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eats the herbs. The Bible calls vegetarians weak. Why? Because they accuse you that you are eating meat that thinks reasons. They don't know trees are also complaining. Because they don't know the language of trees. You know, if we keep listening to these things, we will never eat anything. One lady came to my wife and said, water is making me fit. Water. Water. She was growing big. She said, water. It's water. <clears throat> do you understand what I'm talking about? What are you going to do from here onwards? When you see that the power of God is revealed through fire. How are you going to live your life? If I tell you, the amount of fire you produce in prayer determines how you win in life. That's when you realize you are running on deficit. You are broke in the spirit before you are broke here. 
There, before, you see, you are looking for a visa to go to Germany now. A visa to go to Poland. A visa to go to Britain. Right now, as you are looking for it, you don't know that there is a spiritual immigration officer who will say no before you get to the physical embassy. So you arrive there, it's done. You're already a person with no visa. This queuing up is just a, you wasting energy. The reality is, it will never take place because your fire is too lit. Let me show you. I'm about to finish because of time. You know, this service was very long. 2 Samuel 1, 2 Samuel 1, 17. <laughs> Do you know that fire caused civilization? <laughs> People were going to locations. Are you getting this? Let me show you something. People were going to locations that were cold. They lived in a location, cold areas, hot areas. They only lived in hot areas, only warmer climates until the invention of fire, when they discovered fire rather. That's when people realize, you can go to cold places because now we have fire. Whenever there is fire, people move towards fire. If you have fire, it's men of God of fire who attract followers. Be cold, you will see people won't like you. You're not here because I'm cold. I know you're not hearing me. Are you still here? Second Samuel chapter number one, verse number 17. I'll read this. And David lamented with his lamentation over sorrow and over Jonathan, his son. Mm -hmm. Also, he bade them teach the children of Judah to use the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Joshua. Notice here. You have no book of Joshua in your Bible. Yet the Bible is mentioning the book of Joshua. If you look in the book of, in, in, in the New Testament, it tells you that read the book of the Ladoshians, which I sent to the Ladoshians. Yet there is no book of the Ladoshians in the Bible. Then it talks about the sayings of the prophet Edo. Yet there is no prophet Edo in the Bible. So what do we do? Anyway, don't worry about it. Let's go. The beauty of Israel is slain upon thy high places. Notice here. How are the mighty fallen? Listen, stay there. How are the mighty fallen? It's a question. How do great men fall? How do great women fall? How, how did you get to the location now where you don't have a job, you don't have hope, you don't have anything? How did you get there? Here, we, here it is, the scripture. Tell it in Gath. Publish not in the streets of Ash, Ashkelon. Lest the daughters and the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. It says how, listen to this, how are the mighty fallen and how are their weapons perished? Go back. Are you getting this? How are the mighty fallen and how are their why is it if the mighty fall is because the weapons have been reduced? And what is the weapon of a Christian? Fire. No, 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 no. God doesn't want you to pray. God wants you to produce fire. But we produce fire through prayer. But I don't know if you are getting this. All right. Do you understand what the Bible says? The uselessness of what I'm about to show you. You will stick here. You stick to this location. Mm. And that stick up. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? I want you to see it. The Bible says it this way. Before they pray, hmm? I will what? I will answer. Before they pray, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. So what's, what's the why do we pray? 
if you know what we're about to say before we pray, and if you're going to answer before we pray, what is the use of it? And if you come to pass, that before they call, I will answer. While is they are yet speaking, I will hear. So why do we need to pray? You already know what we're going to say. You've already heard it. You are answering before we pray. So why pray? Because prayer is not for God to change things. It's for you to produce fire. And God only does anything he does with fire. Why are you spending one hour in prayer? Why is it that two minutes is your maximum? Ten minutes you'll be bored to death. Ten minutes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now you're on WhatsApp. I'm praying, I'm praying. Just, I'm coming. Well, two minutes, I'll call you. I'm just in prayer now. Hey, what kind of prayer is this that you have to answer someone on WhatsApp? <laughs> and I know you when you pray, when you're about to sleep. Ah! That amen will not come. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know my trouble. Mm. In the name of Jesus, you do it as a dream. You would dream saying in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you are jokers, I'm telling you. I tell you, according to my experience, if you have never done five hours in prayer, you are a joker. My experience is not biblical, so don't start me measuring it. The biblical one is one hour. You could not do even an hour. An hour. You could not wait with me for an hour. They were already sleeping. These are the disciples. Do you understand the disciples never asked you for the lesson on how to walk on water? Or the bread multiplication lesson. They never entered the seminar. When they had an opportunity to ask Jesus on what to be taught, they said, teach us how to pray. They knew every time you would do a miracle, you walk on water, it was because he came from prayer. Every time you heal the sick from prayer, they said, ah, 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 we know the secret. Teach us how to pray. Their problem was simple. They said, as John taught his disciples, this was the problem. They wondered what was being done in John's in the national ministry of the Pentecostal <laughs> Revelation Church. So there was a problem. And Jesus taught them a prayer that doesn't work. When you pray, put our Father, what in heaven? Put it there. Our Father. One, two, three. Father. Question. Does he act in heaven now? He's in your heart. Wrong prayer. Our Lord be thy name. That's okay. Thy kingdom come. For us. The Bible says when they say the kingdom is there, the kingdom is there. Do not look at that direction. Because the kingdom is already inside you. For it doesn't come by men's observation. Thy will be done as in heaven. Thy will be done as in heaven. So in the earth. What is the will of God? The Bible. Mm -hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. The Bible says in the book of Peter, he has given us all things that pertain unto life and unto godliness. You can't pray for needs. And Jesus said, look at the birds. The flowers, they do not spin. They do not harvest. They do not store in barns. Yet he keeps them. Praying for money is evil. You're wasting time. The demon of poverty rejoices the most when it sees a Christian on their knees in prayer for money. Listen to me. The demon of poverty is more powerful than fasting and prayer combined. He doesn't need prayer. He says, work with your hands. <laughs> Here you replaced it with prayer. This is the problem you have. You want the floodgates to open, what do you do? Tithe. Yet you are now singing it. Open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain. You don't need to sing it. <laughs> Pay your tithe. You will see, I will open the windows of heaven. Now you want to sing it. This is the problem with Christianity. We sing what God said, do this. We sing. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Little light. 
The Bible says you are the light. The word light there is for tizo. It means stadium light. It's not a little light. It's a burning light. God who lives in light no man can approach. Because it's hot. It's fire there. I said it's fire there. The book of Psalms 97. No, before we go there. Uh, let's go to, to that, our father, who art in heaven. <laughs> yeah, the book of Philippians chapter number 4 says when he went up to heaven, he went past all the heavens. That means he doesn't live in heaven. He created the heavens. That means he's not in heaven if he could create heaven. He was outside him. Then he says, the heavens of heavens cannot contain him. It's the Bible. So how can he live in heaven when the heaven of heavens can't contain him? And he said unto them, when ye pray, say, our father, which? One, two, three. Uh, 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 don't read it. I know you can do it. Close your eyes. Do it. <laughs> our father, mm -hmm, who art in heaven. Mm -hmm. I know on that how, Lord, you were like, how, Lord? <laughs> I know you. And God was like, what is this? <laughs> Our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom down. You, you didn't even know what it was. One, two, three. Our Father. Our Father who, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as in heaven, so in the earth. Mm -hmm. Give us this day our daily bread. Peter refuses. Mm -hmm. Forgive us our sins. For we also, no, he did not forgive us based on why we, what we forgive others. Based on his son who died on the cross and sins were forgiven. It has nothing to do with how many people I have forgiven. Wrong part of prayer. Forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. The Bible says when you are tempted, say not God has tempted you for God tempts nobody. Wrong prayer. This was... Jesus followed what they say. Teach us what John is saying. He repeated this lesson. <laughs> he just gave them what they asked for. Please, master, teach us what John is teaching the other guys. Na, 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 boom. They were reading. And all our schools were full of this. God was not hearing nothing. He was not involved. So we pray in our church, we pray in our school. Our father at in heaven, we pray that one. Not a single thing. <laughs> I know what you're now thinking. Stop it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ah, the Bible says we have already been delivered from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We don't need to be delivered again. Hmm. You, are you waiting? And he said, and which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves. Now, if you read this, you realize the continuation, the pestering and the pestering. And people have no idea. They think, you need to keep pestering God until he gives you. No. That's not what he's saying. He's contrasting rather than comparing. Meaning to say, if this person can do this, Continually beg God and ask God, asking even a bad judge, how much more your God? Does he want you to keep pestering? No. No, 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 no. If you keep repeating a prayer, it's doubt. Oh, they didn't get it. A prayer of faith is said once, and all the morning I come there, I'm just laying my peace on the altar. And more times I'm simply thanking him for what he has already given me. Because I know prayer is a consumment of fire. But there are things that when you begin to do, you can make God not to respect what you have suffered for. We were at this location here called the museum. And I preached to our visitors, there were 120, and I kid you not, 120 just as in the upper room. You remember those days? And fire, smoke, engulfed the whole room. And we could tell it was coming from our room. And now we have visitors and we have pastors who are like, men of God, there is prophet, there is fire, we need, you need to come out, and the fire brigade is here. 
They came there to invest. I started laughing. I was wondering, I said, this is not the fire you think it is. It's a different fire. They can tell you stories. I said, this is not the fire you think. It's not the fire at all. This is a different fire. They came, searched everywhere. That College of Music here, right? Um, in museum. And guess what? Zero. We're doing our midweek service in the College of Music. Then our service, we were doing at Zanpia for headquarters at some times and at the uh, showgrounds and then moved to the granite side. But when we would do our leaders and also our, our partners and also newcomers, museum there, and the fire began to... And it's just the same location. Come on. And when they came searched and couldn't find anything, it was because we knew there was something. An atheist was living in a general street, in a vicar street, where the vicar used to stay. And the vicar was trying by all means to get this atheist to believe God. And nothing happened. I'll talk to you for you are learned people. Because this is going to fly like this. Not to my people, to these people. You, you get it. So the vicar is wondering, why can't this atheist just turn to God? One day in the morning, early in the morning, the vicar is woken up from his stupor. Ran to the church, found it on fire. And guess who is leading the fire extinguishing team? It is that atheist. He said, thank you for coming. At least you came here. He said, yes, this is the only time I saw your church on fire. See, it's taking time. It's taking time. It's taking time. I saw that. It's taking time. It's taking time to get in. Get your church on fire. Turn to somebody next to you and say, I put myself on fire. And the world will come to watch me burn. Fire is everywhere. There are men that are dangerous now. Women that are dangerous. The Kathleen crewmen of the day. Maria Hoodwet Eta. BB Angel there was holding my just a handkerchief like this. And we're sitting next to each other in South Africa. I believe it was Randbeck. Randbeck, and I'm preaching in front there. A lady behind there said, Ma'am, I'm on stage for cancer. They said, I'm dying. Please, can you do something? Can prophet pray for me? So she was just holding there. And we're about to pray. I was about to stand to preach. She was holding a, a handkerchief. She just gave me, I touched the handkerchief, gave, gave it to her. She touched it and gave it by a back pass. To a stage four cancer patient. Back pass. Grabbed it. Went back to hospital. And there was no more cancer. What had happened? Listen to this. What had happened? Symbol. There was some fire coming from a handkerchief that burned better than chemotherapy. With no side effects. Now you say, but how can it work for me? Only believe. Listen, you see, the moment I say only believe, you know your problem. How am I going to believe? Only believe. Ah, only believe. I believe. No, you don't. Because according to God, believing is not just accepting what he says. Believing is getting into the scriptures and looking for every verse that talks about healing. Look at it consistently until all you talk about. <sighs> A great general of God, every time they'll meet you, say, how are you, man of God? He says, hope I find you praying. <laughs> That's a good answer. Not I'm good. Ah, Glenview was good. Uh-uh. Forget Glenview. How are you, say? I hope I find you praying. Ah, that's a good one. I hope I find you praying. I hope I find you believing. I hope I find you praying. <laughs> are you flowing? Are you flowing? Are you flowing? There are people who are sitting next to you. People sitting next to you. That you never know who they are until you invest, get deeper. You can look at somebody next to you and think, who are they? Okay. I remember 
a son of mine was just sitting there with, in his t-shirt. And people just looking at, down upon this guy. Until I asked him, say, how much money did you make last year? He said, oh, last year I made 15 million pounds. You could see the person next, sitting next to them and go like, how are you, my brother? <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> One man here sitting in front here showed me their bank account. 100 million US. Another couple here sitting in front here. In the front row now. 600 million. In the, I did not say kwacha. Now, you think this is a confession? No. <laughs> now you are starting to investigate. Eh? I sat with my, my father's young brother just a few days ago. And I was with Brother Devier. And I believe uh, it was him as well. Uh, Brother Dexter here, sitting down with him there. And as I sat down with my, this is my father's young brother, like father's young brother. And he began to speak to me. He said, son, I need to invest in Zimbabwe. I said, tell me how much you have now that I'm able to direct you to the right people. He said, um, I can have any money you think I should have. I said, no, 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 no. no. You are my father's young brother. I'm, I'm not talking about some kind of... Uh, uh, the father of the uncle, no. Sit down, sit. Um, I can bring this amount. He's not talking an amount. He's not giving me the specific one. So I said, no, look. If I say right now we have a business, will you have 30 million? He said, no, 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 more than that. I said, uh, 50 million. He said, no, no, no. More than that. I said, I'm telling you, Dexter was there. Ah. <laughs> I, said, I said, no, no, 70 million. He said, no, beyond 100. I said, okay, 120 million. He said, no. He said, okay, 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 okay. Son, over 600 million. I have it in my account now. I looked at him. I said, you are an evil man. Our family is suffering. What, what's this? <laughs> you want to invest <laughs> you if you look at him very humble short very humble don't show him up there don't so I can see people moving around trying to find no just imagine what will you do with that someone is saying I've got this cash I can do it just want to invest in my country just tell me whatever I need to do You know, you look at him like, are you having a problem or something? <laughs> do you know what five million can do to the old people in, the, in our family? They just do some maneuver. But if you try to tell him that, he will look at you and say, and you too. Do something. <laughs> but imagine someone sitting next to you that possesses a certain level of fire in finances. Something you need, but you're undermining the person sitting next to you. Do you know exactly, do you understand a man called, a man called Jonah? Jonah was in the realm of the spirit. And he's being told by God where to go. But he doesn't go there. Are you getting this? What did he do? It was a very simple thing. Jonah went to a different direction. But where he went, they had a prophecy that there is a God who will come to you. A prophet who will come to you. They believed in a sea God. So when Jonah is thinking, I'm running away from God, he's doing exactly what God wants. Because the people of Nineveh believed in a sea God. So if he had arrived by boat, they were not going to accept his message. 
So he made him to be swallowed by a fish. Or to swallow a fish. And the fish vomited him at the beach. So they reached where the fish was to see him. When he was vomited, they reached it. Ah, 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 ah. We were waiting for a God who will come through the sea. This one is the God. So when he spoke, they believed. He had gone there to tell them, you are going to die. They did not die. Why? Because they believed immediately and they repented. They were all waiting for a sea God to deliver a prophet. Sometimes your prophet might come in a galasso. Mm. You didn't hear. No, you, you didn't hear. Sometimes he might come in a Gucci. Not because he wants to promote it, but because God knows this is the camouflage by which the people of class like spirit embers and the good news world can accept. I, I'm talking to myself now. That when somebody sees the way I dress can say, what kind of preacher is this? But there is a Nineveh I'm saying. Those ones understand fashion and style. I'm not talking to you. Maybe I'm talking to the London branch now. How can you be like the generals of old? Father, bring back the fire of old times. I said, bring back the fire of the old times. Where generals will stand there and speak to people. Let's all be on our feet. I want to do the book of Hebrews chapter number 11. While we are there. I know she can angry. I can okay. Semalushke, great eleganda. Hebrews. Hebrews. No, you missed it. It takes time. These things are not easy. The word Genesis means genes is. The beginning of genes. Genetics. Some people are hearing me, but they're not hearing it. Mm. Ah. Are you hearing me? Oh, yeah. mm, 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 mm. I, want, I, want, I don't want to take time. But let me start from verse number 7. By faith. Being warned of God of things not seen yet. <laughs> Moved with fear. Prepared an ark to the serving of his house. By the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go into a place which he should, after receive an inheritance, obeyed. He went out, not knowing whether he went. He didn't say, give me directions. He says, I'm going. Where? I will see when I get there. <laughs> Some of you, you are too calculative. If you are a person of prayer, you don't calculate. A person of prayer never calculates. He knows exactly if God said it and we discussed in prayer, your problem is simple. You are making covenants for yourself on your own. Have you ever heard, I've heard, Women tell me, man of God, I, I, had, I made a covenant with God that I will get married by the end of the year. It did not happen. No, you made your own covenant on your own with your own mind. God was not involved. God doesn't make covenants. I don't care which preacher will tell you this. It does not happen. God makes no covenants with you. He made it with Abraham. In Christ Jesus are the promises congealed, and we are partakers of Christ's covenant with God. I and my wife, B.B. Angel, we have a covenant called the marriage, a contract. But that contract is not for UJ. Sia is not part of the contract. He is a result of the contract. I don't know if you are getting this. He is a result of the what? The contract between me and my wife. Are you getting this? That contract is what is the issue. So who made the covenant? Me and Bibi. Who did make the covenant? Sia. Sia is the result of the covenant. He can't make a covenant with me. 
You are busy with preachers telling you you can make a covenant with God. It's a lie. He will not waste. He knows you. You break the covenant two minutes after. God does not waste resources. I made a covenant with God that if you give me two dollars, I will be rich. God says I made you rich already. Why should I make a covenant with you? For something I've already done. Let's go. Let's go quickly because of time. Today I was late coming to church because of my wife. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> By faith, he sojourned into the land of promise. As in a strange country. It's a joke for those who believe it. It was because of Eto. <laughs> This is now the truth. <laughs> By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles, in tents, with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city. Ah, uh, You know, uh, one day I went to heaven and I saw Abraham. You don't see an old man like old men. You can look, there is an old look. You can tell I'm looking at a patriarch, but he just looks like a model. But you're looking at him, you know there is great wisdom and great history in him. He's not a young man, but the body doesn't report it. <laughs> the best models on this earth will salivate looking at him. Like, hey, if I had a body like this. No ringo, nothing. Barrel chested. You look at it, you, you, you're like, what kind of gym is this? <laughs> I've not seen anything. This is where those with tummies and no, that's where you celebrate now. Now there is hope for you. <laughs> if you have a one pack, say amen. amen. <laughs> I asked one of my sons here, I said, yeah, the stomach is growing too big. He said, it's winter. This is fit to protect my six pack. <laughs> Say, I will reveal it in summer. <laughs> and it's also in the first row. <laughs> for he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith, also Sarah herself received the strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child. When she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had the promise. Therefore, spraying there, even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore, innumerable, from Sarah. You are a result of Sarah. Now, I know, I know preachers preached wrongly. They say, and Sarah laughed. But before that, look at the previous chapters. It is Abraham who laughed first. Ah, it's written there. Abraham laughed. But since Abraham is the leader of the house, no one will ask him why you laughed. The problem is when Sarah laughed, there was a problem. Because she has a head. So God said, why did your wife laugh? Mm. Ah, let's go. Quickly, I need time. Move. These all died in faith. Not having received the promises of that country. Hmm. But having seen it afar off. Hey! And were persuaded of them and embraced them. And confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth. They were looking for a city. That the Bible now calls Mount Zion. It's it, right now where you are standing there. He says you are already in. But Abraham was looking for where you are. And you still don't have the power of Abraham. You are an embarrassment to the gospel. You're an embarrassment. This is how broke you are now. <laughs> huh? How sick you are now. How jealous you are of your neighbor now as I'm talking to you now. Jealous. You will never succeed. Jealous. Just imagine. The Bible says these people died in vain. Was not in vain per se, but they died not having received the promises that they believed and embraced. Do you know the Bible says we shouldn't even die? 
No, you don't understand this. The Bible doesn't believe we should die. But when we die, what happens with the preachers? God has taken up. Even God is saying, why accuse me? The apostle says, we suffered and were crucified daily so that you may live. They thought if they were the first fruits of death, we will live forever. But because the preachers tell us every time when someone dies, God has taken his beloved home. Guess what? We have accepted death. And the Bible says it this way. A child, let's go there. An infant. An infant in the Lord. Read it up there. Shall die at a hundred age. Nah. Says if a believer, one, two, three, let's go. There shall be no more things. An infant of days. Nor an old man that has not fulfilled his days. For the child in Christ who dies in the Lord shall die at 100 years old. Ah, uh, uh, shut up now. This is it. Those who die at 80 will say, oh, he lived in, oh, he had a good life, 80 years. The Bible says, if you die at 100, you died very young. I know you, you women with 60 years old. You're now wearing like some ancient woman. <laughs> Every time your woman, uh, your child says, uh, I want to take you shop. Say, no, 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 I don't wear that. I wear something else. Feel like, mama. Said, I'm an old woman. I'm skisty now. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know the people in the Bible, over 900 years. Moses was 120, and the Bible says he was as strong as he was at 40. At 120. His strength not abetted, nor his eye dim. He could see you from afar. At 120. Read your book from here. <laughs> 50 years high. My arthritis is even yours. Imagine if you refuse. Sarah was 65 years old, turning heads that the children of the king came to their father and said, we have seen a girl there, Mama Mia, come to Papa. <laughs> Hansi baby, manyama. <laughs> we have seen something here. The king came out and said, hey, 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 don't touch, don't touch. That's mine. Even Abraham had to lie and said, this is my sister. A half truth because she was a half sister. But he could have just said, That's my wife. No, no, no. He lied. He said, He even mentioned, it is even mentioned there that he was afraid that if he says it's his sister, if he says it's, it's his wife, he would be killed. No. You and your wife, if you, you walk on the street, is there someone who's thinking of killing your husband to take you? <laughs> you are playing with this beauty we are talking about now. <laughs> Imagine walking with your wife like this, like, yeah, let's go. And people are plotting your death, planning you should die so we can take this beauty off your hands. I'm not saying you're not beautiful. I'm just saying, maybe killing is a, a stretch. <laughs> are you here or you've gone home? Now all the women are angry. That's where you all men say, hey, amen. Uh -huh. Support a brother now. of women are you? And the Bible says here, Sarah was what? What to look upon? Fair to look upon. Not that she was fair. No. It was entertainment to look at Sarah. You'll find your, your hands going like and your feet. Do you understand what my foot is doing now? That's what you'll be doing like this. Uh -huh. After seeing Sarah, it was entertainment. It wasn't just beauty, entertaining. Like you are angry, say, please bring Sarah. <laughs> and Sarah stands there, you go like, it's okay, my problems are over. She can go back. One of our old Madalas in Zaka there, Zimbabwe African Killers Association. In Zaka, where I come from, married a woman for singing. She was good at singing. Very ugly woman. Very good at singing. 
Woke up 2 a.m., looked at the wife and go like, ha! What did I do? He remembered. He said, wake up, wake up. My wife, please, wake up. Sing. She woke up. He said, okay, now, that's okay. Sit down, sleep now. You can, you can go, go to sleep. Now I know the reason why I... <laughs> you are all beautiful. You are all beautiful. Uh-huh. Okay, you are all handsome. Look at the men. The men will respond. You are all handsome. <clears throat> Are you getting this? <laughs> now let's go to, to Hebrews. I just want to finish that. And maybe, maybe, maybe prophetess will prophesy. Yeah. Don't worry. You can go home after I finish preaching. <laughs> Some of us have put fire. But having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the land, how do you become a stranger of this earth? Now, I'm related to him, you know. So, starting from next Sunday, you will be the pastor for Kwekwe. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive, Papa. That means because it's not right. So the other ones, Pastor Simba and all that you receive notices to come to the headquarters and get new assignments. I receive, Papa. Thank you so much. I receive. I receive. So we want the pastor from Pastor Patrick from Bulueyo. And Pastor Simba, who is taking Kwekwe, to come here to the headquarters. And we are reassigned you. Now, I, I think, you know, the biggest issue is to understand these people don't know nothing. They are hearing it now as you're hearing it. Because whatever God is saying is what we do. So, tomorrow, uh, Pastor Nyesha, make sure they know this. Tomorrow they need to see you. And get new assignments. That means they are no longer pastor. Pastor Patrick is no longer pastor for Blow Oil. And Pastor Simba is no longer pastor for Kwekwe. They are hearing it for the first time now. Or oh, somebody is even calling them now. We are soldiers. You will be reassigned. Sent to a location. We are people of prayer. We don't gossip. Because our words are spent during prayer. You are going to enter into a season of fire on the altar. There is a time I will tell you, from every morning I will be live. Every morning of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I will be alive. Praying with you as you go to your work. Every morning. So it will be called fire on the altar mornings. Fire on the altar. Every day. Until that season ends. Where I'm sure by the spirit. That you are moving to higher degrees. Begin to speak in other tongues now. Right where you are now. Right where you are. Fire on the altar. Yes, 
Jesus. Raise your hands now. Let's worship. Fire on the altar. I live my life for the altar. Let us worship together. And I lay my pieces on the altar. Oh, watch them. I can see the fire, fire, fire. The fire on the altar. I see fire consuming fire on the altar. Fire. I see fire. True. Fire.
taking place. Instant healing has just happened, Prophet. You prayed for my mother here, not less than a minute ago. Prophet, for a month, she had gone. She was in pain. She couldn't even walk, Prophet. But right now, she can jump. She can do Jesus. it. Jesus. Look at that. Raise your hands here. On this side now. Look at my eyes. There. Power of the Holy Ghost. Fire, fire, fire. I see fire. Fire on the water. Fire. Let's sing it out. Say, I see fire. Fire on the water. Say, I see fire. I see fire. Fire on the altar. Fire. Say, I see fire. Yeah! 
Have you been here? Months, weeks? Almost uh, three, four, three, four years. Three, four years? Yes. Wonderful. They are saying oh, she's a steward. You have even for stewards too? Yes. Who are like this? Yes. Yeah, we thank God. <laughs> we thank God. Do not worry. You worry too much. Because I'm seeing a something like a pain that you start thinking I might lose the child. Yes, it's true. It's like a dream. Yes. It's you are true. having a dream yes. that this thing is gone and yes. you are trying to grab it back. Yes, it's true. But Help I begin to see. God. I'm helping you now. This is what I see. It's it says this thing that is like no, 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 no. I'm here at the roundabout there. And I go this way. And I'm looking at Glenview. Then I go to Glen Nora. Yes, B, it's B. It's true, it's true, Papa, it's true. What is true? I live in Glen Nora B. Barrekanos Kevalash. Yeah. 
I see the fire. I see fire. I see fire. Les jeunes hommes crèvent en Oscar la cross de violence. I see fire. This fire. is going to be fixed. Thank you, Mayor. But there is a problem. You. you won't believe it. You help me, Major. You know you will not believe it. You help me, Major. What I'm telling you now, you will not believe. I believe everything you say, Major. <laughs> I see fire, fire on the altar, fire. Yes, I see fire, fire on the altar. Now, 
I know why you will not believe me. It's a very simple thing. Because this is a tight case. Do you know anyone here? Do you know? Does anyone? You? No, no one. This is a very tight, tight case now. It's a very tight case now. It's true. So for you to believe this, that if I tell you now that you will come out of it, you will not believe. It's major. Thank you, major. I believe. Because major. even in the realm of the spirit, it is like when I took you from there, I was seeing you in chains. Yes, major. I was they were yes, putting yes. you tomorrow. Yes. Major, this is not this is not even your fault. It's true what you're saying. You were a propagator of information. Exactly. You were supposed to be marketing something so you get a commission. It's true, Major. I'm into marketing. <laughs> and the problem is you marketed and something then got exactly. stolen. Exactly. And then the money that the person is receiving is not doing the thing that they say. Yeah, it's true. Because it's not even on the side. On the side is like another country is supposed to produce some documents to support that you have applied yeah. and they've not produced them. Yeah, so really. the people are now saying, we want to go to that country, yes. but now there is a problem. Where is our money? Yeah. Where are the papers? The guy is saying, I'm just waiting for the British government to produce them. It's true. It's true. The guy promised before COS is major to go to UK. Now there's nothing. There's nothing and he used me in his crowd. Now, Do something. please celebrate. It's over. I see now, fire. Fire. Hey. now, hear me. Hear me well. Please, I want you to know the guy who is implicating you, what is his name? Hear this. I said celebrate. What is his name? Pemberai. I see fire. Fire on the old. Pemberai means celebrate prophet. Say, oh, see. Jesus. Young man. You are crying. There is nothing to cry. So when are you supposed to go into court? On the 19th of March. Mm. You are supposed to go now and they do whatever they need yeah, to do the, now. The trial is starting 19th of March. I have all the papers in there. Mm. It started with just three people. Now it went. Yes, huh? yes, yes, yes. Then it went to four, five. Now six. Now six major. <laughs> People look at you and think you're a thief. Yeah. Whereas the man was just, you know, you know when you get your own cut, you just get a cut. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'm into marketing. Please get cuts. <laughs> I say bye. You just want to get cut. You're not, you're, you're not a thief. Yes, I'm not huh? a thief. I'm not you're not a thief. thief. Mm. You're not. You're not. You're not thief. Eh? This is not. It's not issues. All this. Come here. Fire on the altar. Fire. I see fire. Fire on the altar. Fire. Yes, I see fire. Fire on the altar. Fire. I see fire. Fire. The Lord is listening to me. That the lines have fallen in the right places. Oh, thank you. Don't worry now. Thank you, it is already done. I drank you in. So I see fire. Fire. Listen to me. Stand up. Do you know why he knelt down like this? Jesus. He's repeating what he saw. Yes. Jesus. I see fire. Yes, yes, fire. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's what I saw in the dream. You saw in the dream? Yes. Now, please, here. All right. Mama, come. I see fire. 
Fire Don't on me. Don't Thank worry, you. your child here. Yeah. There will be grace for her. I'm telling you now. There is grace for her. So don't think too much. What if this doesn't happen like this? This doesn't happen like this. The one in green there, come. Fire, fire. Stand here. Mm. The old. Because now your problem is, how am I going to take care of this one? But I tell you now, she will take care of you. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. Because I saw it as I see now. This is a man. No, a man comes, does what he does, and now he's playing around. It's like there's a distance in the marriage. This one is going to their own thing for 18 years. Because where do you live now here in this Harare? Are you in Harare? You're in Harare. But what I saw, I went there and I saw some Roman Catholic people. And I saw it written, Dadaya. Then I looked, I see something like Vote. Then I went up, I saw Berengua. Yes, yes. Berengua. Who is in Berengua now? The father is in Berengua. Malek Raska Yes. God is ministering to me. Yes. Your problem is over. I by fire and by power, your problem is over. I the fire will begin to burn in this town until somebody receives what they need to receive. Don't worry. Huh? How many? Just stand there. This thing is still moving. Something will happen. Here you. How many weeks have you been here or months? I started, I started coming last week. You started coming last week yes. to this church? Yes. Mm. I think by you returning, it means there is fire on the altar. Fire on the altar. When it's fire on the altar, it's for our benefits. When it's fire on the mountain, the enemy suffers. Listen to me. What push do you hear? What made you think spirit embers? My husband always talks about you and he loves you so much. Where is he? He's home. So he's home watching now? Yes. You, you husband. Notice, men who are wise, they encourage their wives to go somewhere. Amen. Go and pray. One thing you should give your wife is Jesus. No, not beer. No alcohol. If you are a man who drinks, don't encourage your wife to drink. One in that house should be okay in the head. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you advice. You are not listening. Are you hearing me? At least one person in that house should be at least um, okay in the Oblangata. So listen. I see you need to have patience. Woman who started last week, come here. Have patience with your husband. Hmm? Have patience. He's going to create something out of simply, seemingly nothing. Something will come out of him. That will be like, wait a minute. That money that we've been praying for is coming. Because right now you have prayed about these debts. You have prayed. People are not doing it. They just come and even the ones who pay with cash, they, they are not, nowhere to be found. Yes. Except the ones who promise to pay after. They are the only ones who are found. Amen. And when you try to talk to them, they won't pay nothing. So you are always constant debt. Debt, debt consistently. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. Fire fall. Fire fall. In Jesus' mighty name. Hear me now. I woke up today with a strange vision. 
I looked at Britain. And Britain is always having some problem here, or one or two, of flooding. But what I saw today shocked me. What I saw today shocked me. It was as if a bridge, water had reached a certain level of, at the bridge, like spilling over a bridge. And they were sending rescue people to try and rescue people from the water. It was as if the mother of flooding, like the highest they've ever experienced. In, this was this morning, around 4 a.m. You see what I tell you when I tell you people that when you think a prophet's life is easy, and I say I had a vision, and your mind is simple. You think, you know, someone was just sleeping or he was relaxing. I'm waking. That's why I don't like sleeping. If you call me at four, I'm up. If you call me at five, I'm up. Why? Because even if I think of dreaming, it will be waking. So from church now, to just sit here like this and go like, let me rest and let's sleep. Have its way. It's not sleep. It's another dimension of shift. I'm now up waking again. And I have to wake up and go like, where is the notebook? I need to write it down. Because if I don't, I go back again, it will be the same process. And I'll have 10 in one night. And if I sit down, just a simple few minutes of sitting down. If you have sat down with me, you realize I zero out. I zone out, so to speak. I call it zeroing out because I'm no longer here. I can be talking to you very engaged in a very serious conversation and boom. It's like I'm now thinking of something else. Then you talk, talk, and I come back again and I'm talking to you. Say, oh, ha, yeah, yes, yes, that thing, yes. They. I can even laugh at things that you are saying. While I don't even know the things you are saying. Because the flesh is still hearing the conversation and the flesh has to respond with whatever emotion that needs to be uh, you are not hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. So in that way, I begin to see it. Britain, I'm talking about Britain. It was like I'm standing in London and I stood like this, floated in the air and began to see Britain as if it was a map, but seeing the real buildings and looking at bridges and white people were there, black people were there. It was as though it is a thing that affects everyone. I saw a flood. I'm not going to try to interpret that this is the flood of pain. A flood. Uh -uh. I saw water. It was not described anyhow, but water. And as the weeks Go, oh, I'll be able to come here and tell you specific details as I move on because this is something that I want to trek in the spirit. That means I can literally trek it and say, now we have a day. Remember the Kenya prophecy where I told people that this time next year, we are going to stop praying on this debt. We pray to avert this terrorist attack at a shopping mall. It, I described even the bombs, the types of bombs, what they will be made of. Then the day I said, let's stop then. The following day, that's when the attack happened. Imagine, Kenya is not here. Kenya doesn't, is not a part of our church. There is a Kenyan branch, but not as a country. You are a member of this ministry. You are a member of the body of Christ. The God I serve will locate you. I said the God I serve will locate you. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen thunder like fire. Yeah. If your neighbor's amen is higher than yours, you have already lost the miracle. Yeah. Right this minute, there are people here. We have been targeted by spirits. 
I want you to just raise your right hand and begin to decree and declare a certain move. Tolika prato lepro ina manta lika pa ia sosa seli jolo manta ya ia kuri ya tala mane eri ya tala pa ya ia shaka tali brendi ya tala gusa ia koko pa ina mete ya reganto elia kaya ta ia shaka tala prato ia soko tali ya brendi ga ria kato li ya prato ia kende ia nonto ia kupare ni ya telete shemende eri ya tala masaya ia soto li ya brendo ika Rabaya Tanagigo, Ia Shaka Tala Praita, Reke Telepakaya Gato, Rika Tala Bayakato, Ia Shaka Tania Bayatea, Ria Toliga Bayata, Ia Soko Tolia Barato, Ia Toliga Bayatea, El Tachilo Barato, Ia Kupra Niga Ligatea, Ia Kanagia Gatagata, Reka Taka Bayakata La Bayata, Shala Tale Pradota, Reka Kaya Matea, Ia Sotolia Brato, Rika Yabra. Receive that impartation in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I said receive it. What do you want? Fire. Fire on the altar. Fire, fire on the altar. 
receive it in the name of Jesus. I see fire. Fire on the altar. Yeah, come here. You come here. My, my brother, there is a problem. I want to pray. Because even power now is very difficult for you. Because oh, yes. I saw when you start miracles yes, in your hands. Yes, yes. Now you are trying to make the miracles work. Oh, yes. mm. But the problem is you've been stopped now. Oh. This is the thing that stopped you. It's your wife. Oh, yes, yes. Now, hear, hear, true. hear me. Because if you are going to pray for people, results happen. Oh, yes. But when you now go to your own wife to pray, it's as though she doesn't believe you are anything sent. I'm not saying she doesn't believe, yes, but prophet. nothing happens. Yes, prophet. Yes, Hear me well. Nothing. This is it. Oh, you came for a solution. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But they will, you will receive two. Oh, Jesus. You will go back with the fire. Oh, yes. The same fire on my altar oh, you will yes. carry. Because I'm seeing now, this is it. Just a few days ago, I see your wife queuing. She was queuing at a hospital. Oh, that's it was like in front of her were only three people. She arrived, but took time. She got there. This is from here. Ulcers. That's, that's true, Papa. That's Ulcers. True, that. She went there she to be exact. It was two hours, three minutes. Oh, yes, Papa. She was vomiting. At the hospital. Is this is Gaberon I'm talking about now. Ulcers. Yes, I'm coming from Gaberon, Papa. That's where I come from. And my wife was I hospitalized. Am the Your wife was what? She was hospitalized. How many hours? Two, two, two hours. Two hours now. Two hours. Oh, yes. I gave the specific. Two oh, hours, yes. three minutes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If God can look at the hospital detail and say there is a problem here, even to eat, now it was going to a point where even eating oil, cooking oil will be a problem. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but by the fire of God. <laughs> Oh, yes. Even now, as I'm talking to you now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's going to be at a level where you go back. <gasps> just as Jordan ran away. Oh, yes. Hey. Oh, yes. Fire. Even as Jordan ran away, look, took one look and disappeared. As you go back, you will take one look at your wife oh, and the answers will disappear. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Viewers all over the world. <laughs> These are only on Zoom. There are all those all over the world that I need to speak to. Viewers all over the world. When you come to us here, I said these are only on Zoom, right? When you come to this location, you are not coming here to see a man doing what he was sent by God. You are coming here to carry fire back to your countries. Fire. I said you are carrying fire back to your countries. Right now we have the school of signs and wonders. That is there going on. In a, people are registering right now. Men of God all over the world. Go on our website, you will see it. Register, get into that class. I'm, I'm. I'm on fire to teach men of God how to perform miracles. And if you're not a person with a church, don't worry about it. Don't worry. You can still perform miracles when you're not that kind of a person. Salamuske le bunkra takuno fratiske ne teta. Irna kruske ber taleske. Ferazuske venoka. You know, if you're going to listen, come here. If you're going to get to send up. If you're going to get to a point where God can trust you because God doesn't want to invest in the past. He wants to invest in the future. Come on. What God is waiting for is for him to trust you that you are now consistent. 
Eh? Yes, Dad. I didn't trust me. No, 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 no. You tell God that one. Are you hearing me? Yes, Dad. Yes, I see fire. There is fire on the altar. Yes, I see fire. Praise God, somebody. What an amazing God we serve. Isn't God amazing? He really is. And if you are in his presence like we are today, it's a huge honor to actually hear God speak. It's a huge honor. And if he's speaking to someone who is here, it means the blessing is in the neighborhood. I said the blessing is in the neighborhood. And so whatever is happening there or whichever the direction is, whatever the direction it is also for you. So you have to be carried along by the Spirit to catch it. Brother, what do you want God to do for you? You. What do you want God to do for you? Money. Money. Yes. Simple, straightforward. Yes. Money. Money. What is it that you are doing now? I'm a software engineer. Software engineer. Yes. But it's, it's as if you have tried so many different things. And it's... It's every time you kind of hit a brick wall. But we want to change it today. Oh, yes. Because a lot of people are looking up to you. Yes, and a lot of people rely on you. Yes, and so we want your life to move to the next level. It's true, man of God. Just take my hand. Take my hand. There is fire on this altar. Because this young man is going to bring his family out of a lot of pro problems. A lot of them rely on him. A lot of them. A lot of them. And as you are catching that, there is a young man, that young man in a black shirt. Did you, are you here alone? Who are you here with? I'm alone. I'm... You are alone? Yes. Come here. Come here. I'm hearing God say something right now. God said we should pay for your fees. Yes, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I heard that just now. God said this one yes, pay school you fees. So you. We should pay school fees for this young man should pay for your fees. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Where are your parents? In Zaka. Zaka. In Zaka. Yeah. But the problem, oh, where God comes from, I should, I, should, I should include that. Let's not forget. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble with the prophet today. So where God comes from? That's where your parents are right now. Yes. We need to pray for your parents. Because just like what I was saying to this young man, no matter how, it's like there's always a brick wall somewhere. And if that pertains to you, it's ending today in the name of Jesus. This fire on the altar can do anything. It's a one size fits all. So your parents are in Zaka right now. But money is a problem. Money is a problem. But we are not allowing money to be a problem in the year of milk and honey. It shall not be a problem. Money is coming and it's staying. Because even as I saw him and God said, pay school fees for this young man. He's very intelligent. But I don't see you going to school. There is nothing happening. So if they gave me, I didn't have school fees for last year. What? I didn't hear you. Are you going to school? No, no. I, okay. didn't, give me, I didn't go last year because I didn't have school fees. You didn't have school fees. Yes. And this is what God said we should solve right now. Yes, thank you so much. Because even the A-level, if you ask him, it's, he did very well. He did very well. But there is nothing to talk about. Your family is changing. Okay? I said your family is changing. And it starts with you. Because as I see you now, I see another one. There is another one. It's like a brother. I see another one. It's your brother. He's older than you. Yes. Your big brother. But even for him, school fees was a problem again. Yes, it was a problem. And he stopped going to school. What was he doing? He was doing environmental science. And then he stopped because of school fees. God said school fees. That's what I saw when I saw him. School fees. That's it. Your life will change from now. I said your life will change from now. Your life will change from now. This very moment. Why am I seeing a Mara? Your mother's name is Mara. Okay. I thought so. I saw a Mara, a Mara, and his mother is Mara. But your mother is not well. Yes, it's true. She's not well. Yes. What's wrong with your mother? She's got chest problems, intellect problems. 
chest and leg. Has she been to the hospital? Yes. She's been to the hospital. Yeah, she's gone to the clinic. And what did the doctor say? She has got chest problems. She has to, to, to get some pills there. Just chest problems. Yes. All right, we'll pray for your mom. Yes. We're going to pray for your mom today. You were holding up a, you were holding up a, a picture. Let me see your mom. Let me see the photo. We'll see the photo. Things are changing. I said, things are changing. The lady, I said, I'll pray for you. Come, let me pray for you. Quickly, run, 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 run. Because of time, you have to run. There is fire on the altar for you. I said, there is fire on the altar for you. Mom, who is doing this? It's confirming. At A level, he had 18 points. 18. 18 points. Okay, mom. what does that mean? It's good. That's a very good one. Ex it's exceptional. It's, it's exceptional. Beyond good. Beyond good. It's beyond good, mom. So imagine a child who has done so well. This is not what we do in Spirit Embassy. We look after our own. We will make sure you finish. Are you the listening? The results are even here, mom. Where are the results? All right, you can show them. Come, hold my hand. Are you here alone? You came alone? You are by yourself? Okay. I want us to stretch our hands toward this young man. He's going to make us all proud. Just as your results were exceptional, your life shall be exceptional. You shall one day stand on that altar and testify that God has been good to me in spirit embassy. God has been good to me by my man of God, prophet, the angel. You shall declare it. You shall say, indeed, there was fire on the altar that day. Stretch your hands toward him. Let's pray for our young brother here. Pray for him. We want the wisdom of God to reside in him. As he continues with his education, the wisdom of God shall dwell in you. The knowledge of God shall increase in you. You shall make God proud and you shall make us proud here. You shall make your family proud. Your parents shall be proud of you. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed beyond measure. Amen. I said you are blessed beyond measure. Amen. Amen. I, I want us to take his details so that we ensure he goes to school right away. Right away. You want marriage? Yes, ma'am. You want marriage? Yes, ma'am. That's your goal? Yes. The very only goal? No, not that Are you making money? Uh, at the moment, uh, I'm not. You are not making money? So why are you getting married? The young sisters need to make a bit of money before you. This is 2024. Ah, where are the women in this house? The men also nowadays want women with a bit of substance. So let's change this thing. At least have a job. Make some money as well. I want us to work with the young lady so that she has something that she's doing. Marriage will catch you at least then you can add something to it. Don't worry. And you, you want to be married as well. Yes, ma'am. Uh, of course. And you as well. You, 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 you. Now you are, you are, the hands are going down one by one. One by one. Can the single sisters agree that we want to travel the world before we are married? Jesus. At Jesus. least see the world before. Where are you, single sisters? Shout your loudest amen so the brothers can also notice you. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why this, uh, I think we need to have our conference soon. Mm. Because you see, the man of God was teaching something. And he said, when you are married, you have to know that you have someone who is Lord over you. And now when you want to go and see the Great Wall of China, someone has to agree for you to go there or not. But in your singlehood, you can go to the Great Wall of China on your own. Why can't you see the world? Why can't you go to Dubai? You want to have a government to tell you to not go. So the single sisters, I said we are doing milk and honey this year. Big things this year. So when the single brothers find you, at least you've done one or two. You've seen the world. At least that one. Can we agree to that? And you, you want marriage as well? I can see the enthusiasm. Marriage. Also money. Also money. And money. So let's have the money and the marriage. <laughs> Don't worry about your life. Thank you, ma'am. The past two Sundays have been about fire on the altar. 
And I hope you have been ruminating on this when you go home like I have been. When he says, I'm placing the pieces of my life, the pieces of my life, every morning, I hope you are praying in the morning and presenting those pieces on the altar. Are we doing that? Because we don't want the messages of our man of God to fall on rocky ground. They have to fall on good soil. Everything is teaching us has to fall on good soil. So when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Yes, the pieces of your life on the altar. Then you watch the fire come, right? That is how we are going to do it. There is fire on the altar in your life. Thank you, you are going to achieve big things that you never thought you could achieve. Hallelujah. You are going to Thank achieve you, them. Because right now there is no marriage to talk about, but there was a marriage before. But we are changing the narrative, not only in your life, in your entire family. Women have a problem with marriage. And if this is you and you are listening, you better catch the same for yourself. Women have a problem in her family. Before I was married and divorced. And then you are divorced. But your sons are going to bring a lot of light into your family. Don't rush to say, I want to be married. I want to be married. Yes, ma'am. This is just me, all right? This is just me saying it's better you stay like that. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Yes, ma'am. It's Thank better. You. Thank you, ma'am. There is a reason why I'll whisper in your ear. It's better. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Look after your two boys. Oh, yes, ma'am. Because Thank I'm you. seeing these boys. There is a younger one, older one. And I'm seeing, who is city council? The first born Tinashe. Is he at city council? Yes, yes. What is he doing there? Is he working there? Yes, he's on attachment. He's on attachment. I saw city council. And I don't know your son, right? And you didn't tell me this information. Are you sure? I'm sure. Your life is changing. Thank you, Jesus. I said your life is changing. Thank you, Lord. And this is one of your sons. Yes, my last born. Hold my hand. How old are you? You are 18. You boys are going to make your mother's life beautiful. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the reason why she's considering marriage in the first place is because the life is not yet beautiful. Yes, so she thinks the solution is like a lot of you here. You are going to make your mother's life beautiful. I, I said you are going to make your mother's life beautiful. You and your brother. You will see it. You will see it. I said, you'll see it. You also change your mother's life. All of you, if you want to change your parents' life, raise your hand. If you want to change the life of your parents. And this young lady, who will pray for your family as well. Because I see your mother buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling. You know, some mothers that are trying. And it just so happens it's Mother's Day today in the United Kingdom. Because I know we have people watching online as well. So God bless the mothers that are watching right now and the ones that are here you girls you have to pray that's what god told me you have to pray i said you have to pray thank you you have to pray thank you all the young ladies here you have to pray thank you mom change the course of your destiny through prayer the two of you where are you going to school we are on attachment you're on attachment what are you studying we are doing nurse aid. Nurse aid, both yes. of you? Yes. Okay. I want to talk to you. I, I want to say something to you. Thank you, Mama. I want to say you, something. Mama. Just wait for me. Just wait for me. Young man, where are your parents? We have many youth here. Is this a section for youth or there's just, or you were late? We need to ask the prophet to have a service for us, the youth. Listen. Hey. You know what? I'm actually, I'm actually sending Mudiwa there to look for Prime Minister so we can have a Friday service for you. Then you said to you, uh, Come on, somebody. You better celebrate the Lord in this place. <laughs> it's amazing. Go deeper. <laughs> Prophesy. Did you hear what the prophet said? Just as I'm oh, saying, we is. need to. So, Friday, we have Friday or Saturday? Friday. So Friday we have rebels, the youth meeting, everyone, please, we are not talking about youth in 
your mind. Youth singles everything here. If you are single and you are 75, you are a youth. All right. You can proceed. So you heard that? Young people, we are here. We are all here on Friday. On Friday. What time on Friday? I think when Prime Minister comes, Pastor Prime Minister, he will tell time? us. 5 p.m. Uh, my youth, I'm not my boss, I mean. 5 p.m. All right, so from 5, five. we'll all be here. All the young people, five we have very PM. many. There will be we fire here. here. After that service, you will understand. Yes. I want us to pray for this couple. In fact, maybe Prophet should pray for you. It's better. All right, come with me so that he can see you. And then he'll pray for you. I want us to pray for this couple. Because there is something very strange that the devil has tried to do in your life. Just face me. You can face me. And then the prophet is going to pray for you. There is something very strange that the devil has tried to do in your family. Because it's as if everything you try to do doesn't work. Now, sure. why am I saying that about him? This man is very intelligent. And he has many business ideas. Many. And he even shares with others. People come to your house asking, I want to do this. How do I do it? The, he'll give them the advice. Yes. But this is the problem with your husband. I'll tell you what the problem is, men of God. And I'm saying men of God because I'm seeing you teaching people. It's true. It's, it's like true. you teach people. It's true, do you have a church? Yes, we have. You have a church? Yes, mama. But this church is in turmoil. Yes, mama. Serious turmoil. Yes, mama. In fact, it's almost non-existent. Yes, mama. This church. Mama. And right now you are frustrated. Yes. And this is why I wanted the prophet to pray for you. You are very frustrated. Come forward, man of God. We want the man of God to minister to them. It's very, very important. Because for right now, if you go around the city, you see more nightclubs coming up. And this is the situation around the world. So for every nightclub, we should have 10 churches. I said we should have 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 churches. And so we need all the men of God we can get. But you see, this man of God is frustrated. But I'll tell you what your problem is, man of God, according to what the Spirit of God showed me. Can I tell him what uh, God told me? Prophesy. Prophesy, Mama. The problem with this man of God is, when you go, just walk two steps. One step, two steps. Let him walk alone. You, you are okay. Stay there. Let him walk alone. Now go back three steps. Do you see that? And three steps. In fact, sometimes even take another, another one. Do you see that? Every time he's thinking, now I'm going forward. And then things will move for a season. It's true, mama. And then all of a sudden he goes back again. It's, it's like taking a drink. You know how people drink, uh, let's say Coca-Cola. And then you drink it to half. You're and then you mama. set it down. And then you take a cream soda, you drink it to half. And then you leave it. And then you take another one and another one. Is, is this true? Are you sure? Yes. And is this true what I'm saying? It's true, 100%. Everything true, you start, you don't finish. It's true, Mama. It's true. No matter what it is, stand with your wife. We want to solve a few things today. Stand with her. Because even now, as I'm looking at the ministry, what is the name of your ministry? City of the Living God. City of the Living God. But I'm seeing a different name that was there before. It's true, Mama. You changed the name. I changed it. <laughs> The previous was fountain of life. Do you see what I'm saying? He changed the name not because God told him to change. But there is a tendency to backtrack on everything. And this is your problem, man of God. But today these things have to change. Because right now, I'm seeing businesses flowing from you. To such an extent, you will never need to rely on ministry to support you. Thank you. Thank you. The first thing I saw was, it's like a logistics. That's how I saw it. I saw logistics, transportation, taxi. He had a dream to start taxi business, this man. Yes, Mama, I, I, even have, I even have some photos in my phone. You have photos? Yes. What is this we are looking at? These are taxis, like buses, like small okay. buses. All right. But you see, this is the problem with your husband. When he decided he wants to do this business, what happened? He was fearful and he left it. After actually making plans, it was gone. And now I'm seeing him amongst, it's like a lot of dust and machines, like in the mines. 
That's why I'm seeing him right now. I'm seeing him in the mines. I'm, I'm, I'm actually coming from there. I was there yesterday. You are coming from the mines. Yes. Prophesy. Do you see what I'm saying? Go deeper. <laughs> But you see, the very same minds as well. He's becoming tired of it. It's, true, it's very frustrating at those minds again. So now his dilemma is, what do I now do? Because this one, I don't like it. And now I, do my, I don't like it either. And then he tries to I don't like that one either. And so what do we get? Nothing. Even the ministry, nothing. But God has given you so much grace, man of God. I receive. He has given you so much grace. Prophesy, Mama. Prophesy. Don't retire on the calling of God on your life. Prophesy, Mama. You've been trying to find a way. If I make money, maybe I can still, maybe we can just leave the ministry altogether. Don't retire on the call of God on your life. Raise Thank your you, two Mama. hands. Raise your hands. Things are going to move well. But we need to pray for him. We need the man of God to pray for him. Because this backtracking is a disease. And it's been happening for years. He will never succeed for as long as he backtracks. And now you have, this is your third child. This is baby number three. Yes, mama. And you have two boys. Yes, mama. And we are having a girl. Yes, mama. Yes, mama. Pro, 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 prophesy. <laughs> but you see, I saw it's like the scan is saying it's a girl. What do you think? Is the scan correct? I don't think. Okay, what do you say? He doesn't think. He just says. So we need the confirmation. I will need to see what they like. I'm, I'm going to talk to you separately. So, just, so we separate the two. One says whatever. I'll go with the husband. Dead, um, mom. So please. They're actually confirming. Ah, wait. <laughs> I'll see. Ah, it doesn't matter whether it's a girl. If you want a boy, we make it a boy now. There's no, no issue whatsoever. <laughs> Aye. Where, where is that family again? The recent a, a, change, a sex changes where? Is that the, the lady? Yes. It's now a what now? A boy. The doctor said this is a girl. We said we are changing it. Yes. A boy. There is a boy. So it doesn't matter. Yes. And we have changed so many. And one woman was at the HICC day and the husband was about to divorce her for, for carrying a baby girl. Imagine, you're going to give birth the following day and your husband says, um, if it's a baby girl like the scan said, mm. you're like, what, which signs did he do? Bush signs. The husband also is involved in choosing. Yeah. Mm. In this case, the man wants a girl. Uh, 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 that's because they are near. That's really? why I said I will take the men on the side, the woman mm. on the side. I will tell you the truth about men. So what's happening? Men will accept a certain thing based on their love for you. You take them aside and sit them down. They will tell you a different story. Okay, Dad will split I'm not going to tell you. One of says. my protocol here was told by the... They said it's a girl. He was happy. Until the wife said, um, hmm, you know this issue, because he was just around me talking about uh, these things. Then the hospital confirmed now that, ah, that one we saw as a girl all this time has turned into a boy now. You see the protocol now. <laughs> he could not do nothing, couldn't speak. He was like this. Like, <sighs> it's true, sir. <laughs> I've got a letter to prove that she, the first scan says uh, it's, a, it's a girl. Then recently when she went for another scan, they are saying it's a boy. It's clear. It's a boy. The way you are relaxed, I can turn it back into a girl Yay! now. <laughs> I can turn it into a girl now if you relax like this. <laughs> Do you see now? It's not like, remember our wives are girls. We love women. They are all their girls. My mother is a girl. What's but when it comes to a child, uh, men will tell you. <laughs> I want to Me, Thank I want sir. a girl now. Thank you, sir. No, I'm telling my wife I want a girl now. <laughs> Fire! This well. 
May you receive the action to do what you need to do in the name of Jesus. Fire on that altar. Receive that action. If you are here under the influence of my voice, receive that action. I said, if you are here under the action, now imagine, mm, so, now your husband was not happy about this boy. <laughs> so I'm going to decide maybe we just return it to a girl. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one is like, now look at him. He had to grab his wife like, you know, I love you, baby. <laughs> like, don't say girl, girl. Just say boy. <laughs> Let's support each other. Receive it by reason of it. Yes, Receive it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Receive it wherever you are here. Balakakune. Raise your hands, everybody, and all on your feet. We are about to close, but before we close, a lot will happen, and we are going to worship and dance. So you don't just go home. We're going to have a movie night here one time. Yes. It will be a very, very powerful thing. <laughs> and remember May 3, right? Is it 3? May 3, 4, and 5. Uh, we're going to try and have maybe some leadership meetings because since he is coming just for this spirit embassy, um, Reverend... Tom Emekanani Emekana from Nigeria a great son of my father Pastor Chris and I know all of you you know him he will be here for three days May 3, 4 and 5 it will be fire fire, fire, fire I said it will be fire good news Zimbabwe at the great and iconic Harare Hippodrome. 